I'm just going to come right out and say it. The Monkey God might be the greatest of all time in the strawweight division across any promotions. Jared Brooks is back for his third fight in 2024. Remember that he recently submitted Cuban wrestling guru Gustavo Ballart at One Fight Night 24, which gave Jared Brooks the interim championship strawweight belt. That was back in August. Earlier in the year, Jared Brooks lost the championship belt via disqualification to Joshua Pascio, who is now recovering from that injury. Now, Brooks will be moving up a weight class to the flyweight division and taking on Reese McLaren, who is the fourth ranked contender in the flyweight division. In an interview with the MMA superfan, Brooks said this about moving up a weight class. Even though I am a small strawweight, right? Yeah. I'm probably the smallest strawweight on the roster weight wise. Yeah. I make weight super easy, but watch yeah. me. You're gonna you're gonna see me uh, you know, December sixth, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be bigger than you've ever seen. Brooks is five foot two inches tall, 124 pounds, and 31 years old. Reese Lightning McLaren is five foot six, 135 pounds, and 33 years old. Brooks has a 21 and three record, but let's take a look at those three losses. The most recent one was by disqualification, so not really a defeat. And back when Brooks was in the UFC, he lost to Jose Torres when he tried to slam Torres and accidentally knocked himself out. Before that, Brooks lost a split decision. So if you look at his record for the three losses, two of them aren't really defeats where someone beat him. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The Monkey God might be the greatest of all time in the strawweight division across any promotions. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. As for Reese McLaren, his record is 17 wins and nine losses. And when you look at his most recent losses in one, they've been to super skilled fighters like Kairat Akhmatov, Danny Kinghead, and Yuya Wakamatsu. All guys who have been ranked in the flyweight division. Things between Brooks and Reese McLaren have gotten heated recently when Brooks said this about McLaren. I think it would be a great match between me and Mighty Mouse. Reese McLaren is boring. All these other guys in the flyweight are boring. Reese McLaren responded back saying, I have my eyes on actual contenders in my division. You're a waste of my time and easy money. You can keep running your mouth, but it doesn't make you entertaining. Just makes you a typical septic tank. He also said this, it's going to go back to that one word, my man, violence. Violence is coming. Doesn't matter if it's one, two, or three rounds. But Jared Brooks says he's ready for Reese McLaren and that he is the one driving the bus. You know, he's telling me get in the back of the bus and I'm just like, dude, I'm driving it. And I don't think he realized <laughs> that yeah. until, until uh, my name showed up on his plate. So... I'm, I'm super excited to show the world that I, I can go up a weight class. Now you may be asking yourself, why is Brooks moving up a division? Well, my theory is that we don't know when Pascia will return. Brooks has pretty much cleared out the division of straw weights and needs a challenge and wants to fight for that flyweight belt to become a two division world champion. I think he wants to fight for it likely against Adriano Marias, and then the monkey god will see if he can entice Mighty Mouse Demetrius Johnson to come out of retirement and fight him. But back to the Brooks vs. McLaren fight. What's going to happen? You might think that McLaren's size, reach, and experience at the flyweight division will give him an advantage. But Brooks is used to sparring and training with fighters much larger than him. If you've ever seen Brooks fight, you know that right before the match is about to start, he gets really worked up, mad, focused, and his intensity goes to a whole nother level. So does his cardio, and so does his fight IQ. I don't know if he'll be able to knock out McLaren, but a submission victory is a real possibility. As for McLaren, he's got a great MMA base and doesn't seem intimidated at all by the monkey god. But what do you think? Will Brooks be competitive at the flyweight division? Should the winner of this match fight Adriano Marias for the championship belt? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Lots more content just like this coming your way.